Hi, welcome back to the organizing tip of the day. So it's almost getting close to Christmas. I'm so bah humbug every year. I hate Christmas, but this year I'm trying to get a little bit more organized. I'm not very organized yet, but I do want to show you one way that I'm helping to because I've put off gift buying to the last minute. I just started shopping, but um, I wanted to show you how I'm organizing that so when I do find time to go out and do shopping, which really isn't very often, I have to like squeeze a night here and there. We have Christmas parties every weekend from now, like every Saturday and Sunday from now till after New Year's. So weekends are a bust. So that brings it back to evenings and I can't bring the kids because they fall asleep or blah, 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 blah. So um, yeah. I'm on a timeline. So here's something that I, I saw on the line and you it was actually you had to purchase this. It was kind of like, I don't know, it was like $10 or something. But I just decided to create my own and I put it on the website for you so you can download it for free and hopefully it helps you too. But come on and I'll take show you what I made that's helping me with, it's called a gift giving plan. And basically you just, it's, I did this whole Excel thing so you just add it in. You could always write it in too, like um, I printed one off, but then I decided just to keep track of the budget wise, I typed it in, but anyways, you can write it in if you want. And then I put everybody I have to buy for, not including my, my immediate family, but everybody else, ideas of things that I might want to get them where I could go and buy these things. There's a whole lot of Walmart, but anyways. <laughs> then the the budget that I have for them. And that way when I'm shopping, I can go, okay, well, let's go to Walmart. And when we're at Walmart, I'm like, oh, I can get this and this and this and this for those people. I still need some couple ideas and places where to go, but this is just gonna really help organize my thoughts when I'm Christmas shopping. And then I can put the actual budget to see if I'm over or under. And then if it's been given already, because sometimes we go to early Christmas parties and if I've wrapped it yet. And then if I have bought it, what I'm doing is just filling it in a different color so I know who I bought for and who I haven't. So this is just something I'm gonna keep in my purse and I'm gonna update it when I get home and it's just an easy way for me to organize my thoughts and if like, I gotta go to Canadian Tire to get this person a gift, I can like make sure I'm getting that person's while I'm there too and then if I'm on that side of town, I can hit Applebee's cause it's there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's organizing my thoughts on paper for Christmas. Anyway, so I, I definitely want you to check that out. It's at uh, www.clutterbug.me. I put the link below. The other thing that's going on with me right now is I'm busy, like crazy busy. So with with the Christmas shopping and then it was Christmas decorating and all this, all this stuff, I find that it's hard also to keep up on housework, but Christmas is the one time of the year where you need to keep up on your housework because people are dropping by all the time. And who wants to be rooting around for stuff anyways? Like things can get out of control around the Christmas holidays, especially with all the gifts you're bringing back and you're opening up and you gotta find homes for all of that. So if you already have a mess from before the holidays, it's just chaos. So I went back to my old school needing a plan and doing, um, right now I just sort of do a little bit every day and that's awesome but I don't have time to keep doing that so I want to do the bare minimum housework and a weekly cleaning checklist is the best way to do that. So this is a cool one. One second, I'm almost done. Oh, thank you for my ice cream. I'll be right with you. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. So here's one that I found online that I really, really liked. It just has Monday, Tuesday, so it's like small task every day. I put this one on the website too, but there's a whole bunch of other ones, and really, it's just like bare minimum, people. Just so it doesn't become a sty. But I've gotta let go, because something's gotta go. I cannot keep up with the crazy amount of housework I'm doing, plus Christmas shop, plus watch all these children, plus still make dinners and grocery shop, and it's just like, what? So, weekly cleaning checklist. Bare minimum stuff that I gotta do to make sure this place doesn't become a pigsty. Still tidy for Christmas. I totally recommend you try one. I'm gonna put this one, since it's pretty, right on my fridge so it's like, oh, what day is it today? Today is Wednesday. I gotta clean the litter box. Straighten up organized bookshelves, I'm probably not gonna do. Again, this is somebody else, and then put away laundry, which I'm so gonna do. So I love that. Streamlines, don't have to think tired of thinking. You might think I don't think a lot, but apparently I think enough to give myself a migraine and my hair's falling out. Like, like really, it's getting so thin. I went to the doctor and he's like, it's perceived, it's all in your head. It's not in my head, my hair's falling out. Face match, face match. 
Anyways, those are your tips. Check out clutterbug.me. I'll put the link below. Print off some stuff. See you next time.